Hi there. Welcome to the Small Business Coffee Break, the video series where we take a few minutes to work on your business, not just in it. Today is going to be a little bit different because today I'm going to be answering a question and probably one of the most common questions I get about the Small Business Coffee Break video series, which is, why do we do it? Why do we take the time to interview these people that aren't necessarily related to the work that we do at Depazo Insurance and provide this information to small businesses? Well, while having the interview with Stephanie Fortune of Fortune Business Consulting, right before we got into the formal questions, we had a great chat that I think will give you some insight into why the Small Business Coffee Break exists. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. A lot of times with small businesses, I think we were talking before we, we started recording, was, you know, it, it, sometimes it's just access to info. Yes. Uh, you know, a lot of times we, we just, we don't know. Some of us are, you know, great insurance agents. Some yes. of us are, uh, you know, cooks or, 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 you know, maybe the best artist or, mm -hmm. or you know, and, and running the, the business side, administrative side isn't right. always, you know, uh, and a lot of it isn't even trained. You know, yeah. I, I've never seen someone come out with their MBA and have, you know, be perfect at an interview, <laughs> right? Or, or how to conduct an interview. Right. You know, right. I, um, we had a, uh, uh, an employment lawyer once uh, okay. that we interviewed. And I'll never forget one of, the, one of the tips he said. One of the most dangerous things you can bring into an interview, mm -hmm. um, you know, which blew my mind was a pen. <laughs> Interesting. It's like, he's like, just... Don't do it. So I need to know the logic behind this. Well, so his, <laughs> his, his, his thought this. process, if I'm, if, and you know, hopefully I'm saying it correctly. <laughs> if, if not, just check it out. I'll figure out what episode it was and put it in the notes. But uh, his thought process was uh, people tend to take notes when they have a pen. Mm -hmm. And at the time of a difficult situation where the relationship between the employer and the employee or the prospective employer and employee has gone awry, um, that those notes become subject to part of the proceedings. What did you write? Did you write it in shorthand? Did you use a word that could be misconstrued, oh, yeah. you know, if read out of context, right. and maybe for you was just a trigger word? Uh, you know, if, you, if you've ever been a bartender, they use descriptions of people uh, when they're creating the tabs, not always names or credit card numbers, mm -hmm. and so sometimes those descriptions are not flattering. Uh, you know, so, uh, imagine, you know, something like that. So right. I always thought it was an interesting thing. It's like never take, and since then we've <laughs> never taken a pen into an interview. Um, but but it's it's that kind of information uh, that is so really valuable, and and I think it's I would hope that a lot more small businesses realize that they, they have access to it right. uh, and and um, and that they can you know, utilize it for their benefit. Right. Sometimes it seems like overkill. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's like you're never upset that you brought the tool you needed. Right. You're always right. angry if you <laughs> left it at home Very or true. at the shop, Very right? True. You know, Very it's like, true. oh, you're at the shop, you're at the project site, <laughs> you needed that tool. It's like, oh, it's the one time I didn't bring it. Let's keep the conversation going. If you have any questions you'd like to ask Stephanie, ask it in the comments or her contact information is in the description. If you have any questions you'd like me to ask Stephanie or any other professional in their field, my contact information is also in the description and I'm always available through a direct message. See you next week for another cup of coffee and more questions answered.